Hello. Hey, how y'all doing? All right, I am back. Um, I don't have any excuses. I just have been out. Um, I think I'm going to drop like and crew this season because I'm so far behind. So um, when that comes back out, hopefully I'll be more committed to making these videos. But in the meantime, I'm probably just going to do sisters, um, claws, and whatever the show I feel like. All right, so let's get into, I think we're at episode 10. Season 1, episode 10 of Sisters. Alright, so I'm going to be looking over because some notes are actually on my phone this time instead of on my laptop. Whatever. Alright, so Andy is talking to the private investigator. She had a meeting scheduled with a private investigator that Gary's wife had following him. Well, she gets, um, the private investigator gets to Andy's office and lets Andy know, like, hey, um, you weren't as special as Gary made you out to be, or as he may have told you you are, um, there are actually quite a few women in his life, you are just one of them, and I'm willing to bet that you were just a pawn in a grand scheme of, in the grand scheme of things that Gary needs to get accomplished. So, um, she hasn't told Gary's wife yet, but she has given Andy a certain amount of time to rectify the situation or to give her direction on which way she needs to go with the information, because um, once she meets with Andy, things are going to change, Andy is probably possibly going to lose everything. So that's unfortunate, but that's the price you pay when you fuck around with people's husbands. All right, cool. All right. Um, the private investigator tells her that, um, basically she's being played by Gary. Um, and she needs to be careful. Basically. Um, uh, mm. And the other ladies, her name is Tina, Tina Rogers. Tina Rogers is Gary's lunchtime bae. He, she's the lunchtime booty call, and Andy is the gym time booty call, which was always weird because he could only see you when he goes to the gym. I mean, okay. But, um, yeah, so the, he's the gym, she's the gym time booty call, and then the Tina lady is the lunchtime bae. So at least Tina, you know, gets to be brought out to the sunlight and what not. I guess that's some sort of consolation. Um, what else? What else? Uh, Maurice tells Sabrina that she needs to talk to Calvin, talk to Calvin. If she likes him, stop listening to what anybody else has to say and just make a decision. Simple. He's out of it. I am also because this is a little more dramatic than it needs to be, but we're just going to go with it. All right. So, um, Zach tells Danny that he needs to move out after they slept together. Um, mind you, I did not review that episode, but last episode he got so high and he wanted to have sex with Danny when in actuality he was just uh, having sex with a pillow that happened to be next to Danny. Um, but he was so high and so out of it, he didn't realize that he didn't have sex with Danny. It was actually a pillow or something in the bed that wasn't Danny. All right, cool. But, you know, he wakes up and he's coming back to his senses that he realized, hey, me and Danny may have had sex last night, and that's not good for you trying to get back to Karen. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and he also lets Danny know, like, hey, you know, that shouldn't have happened. You know, I do love you, but we missed the opportunity, and I'm going to confess everything to Karen. And Danny's just so butthurt that people have been talking about her behind her back uh, in, the, in the friend girl group that she allows him to believe that they hooked up and she's gonna let it happen. Whatever happens, happens. However Karen feels is however she feels at this point. Excuse me. I'm a little under the weather. But um I can't remember the dude name. But the grocery store dude he shows up at Karen's job and he wants to apologize yet again. She accepts the apology and they're scheduled to to go out to dinner. In the meantime, Zach shows up yet again with the most horrible timing ever and tells her that he needs to talk to her he needs to confess some things to her Karen doesn't want to hear and she shoots him away as usual um yeah uh Karen doesn't want to hear anything that Zach has to say and nobody can get in touch with Andy since she found out that Gary is playing her she's not answering anybody whatever um Calvin shows up to Sabrina's later on that night. He has on boxers. He has on regular underwear. He doesn't have on little, you know, little panty drawers for once. And I guess Sabrina's satisfied with that and they are about to get get down with the get down. Um, yeah. 
I guess. Um, dude. Okay. Grocery store dude comes to Karen's house and, you know, he's just sitting around talking and they're shooting the shit and she has made dinner for him. Um, and somehow or another, they come around to the realization that the grocery store dude is a preacher or pastor. So one of the two, I didn't get the correct title, but now she's acting funny. Like she's everything is hallelujah and talking about, you know, the Lord and whatnot and do that's And, um, so her whole demeanor has changed now that she's found out that he is a pastor and, um, you know, she's finding any reason to, she's looking for any reason to, uh, took for any reason to get him out of her place. So now she's letting him know like, Hey, Andy needs me. Um, her coworker called and let them know like she left crying and she's not responding to anybody. So they need to go save her and see what's happening. So she was shoes him out the door and she's down out of that uncomfortable situation that I guess she created because they really just told you his profession and you just freaked out about it. Basically. All right. So, um, Sabrina and Kevin, Calvin, Sabrina and Calvin are, you know, getting to it, getting hot and heavy now that she's satisfied with the drawers he's wearing. And he reaches under the bed and finds her dildo, right? And he wants her to use it on him. And she does. All right. Um, yeah. So now that that has gotten uncomfortable, she rushes Calvin, she rushes out until Calvin, you know, he knows how to let himself out. And now she, she's headed to Andy's as well. She calls, she calls Danny and, um, she calls Danny and asks her to show up to Andy's as well because she left crying and nobody knows, you know, where she is. So everybody's showing up to Danny's at this place. Um, and once they get there, Andy shows them the evidence from the private investigator and, um, Danny looks at the pictures and she's like, hey, oh, this, which one is the picture of his wife? And Danny shows, Andy shows Danny the picture of, the picture of who is, who we assume to be his wife that was at the airport a couple episodes back. And Danny was like, I thought that, I thought, he said he was at the airport with his wife. Well, in actuality, that was not his wife. I thought the lady looked kind of funny. She looked smaller than the wife, and the wig was kind of weird. So I assumed, you know, that wasn't his wife, but Danny said it was. Andy said it was, so I assumed it was. In actuality, Danny let us know, like, hey, he was with somebody at the airport, but that's not the lady he was with. That wasn't his wife. So there is a third person, or that's the Tina girl, or somebody else in, in Gary's twisted plan to, I guess, get what he wants. So, um... That's it for episode 10 of Sisters. Um, it is Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. So tonight will be on episode 11. I'm not going to stay on top of these videos because I could possibly be lying again. Who knows? But I will see you on the next one. Um, thanks for watching. Share, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.